listen, man, the footwork don't stop, man. You know what I'm saying? You might have obstacles that might come in between, you know, you reaching your goal, but you got to keep going. You got to keep at it. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, we booked the flight to go to Miami. You feel what I'm saying? That flight got delayed. You know what I'm saying? It ended up being uh, canceled. You feel what I'm saying? We had to get right back to the drawing boards. We had to book another flight for me and my cameraman. You know what I'm saying? You see right here, man, we on the way to the airport. We running out of gas. You know what I'm saying? We ran out of gas. You feel what I'm saying? We close. We be in the back of the airport. We finna fly out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we still going to continue with the plans. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, the devil trying to stop us. You feel what I'm saying? But it's cool. You know, we're going to keep going, keep striving. And, uh, man, we're going to see y'all in Miami, Florida, man. He said, he said, 30 is a big boss. I feel the clan. Yeah. Man, we right back in this shit, bro. We right back like we never left, man. You know what I'm saying? When you grind hard, you shine hard. We got the marble floors, man. You know what I'm saying? You 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 can't even beat it with a baseball bat. We we walking in to uh to letters, you know what I'm saying? Five star review. You feel me? Miami, Florida, bro. Baby, we here. You know what I'm saying? Top dollar Kendall Splint, man. We just getting in off of a long day, like I said before we left. We had a lot of technical difficulties. Um, we managed to get past that. Like I say, you got to keep going. When you got roadblocks in the way, you got to be able to keep going and keep stabbing and keep stabbing until you, you know what I'm saying, reach your, uh, your destination, your final destination. We just getting here to the Airbnb, good vibes, uh, good side of town, you know what I'm saying? Every time we uh, pop out, we do things top dollar. You know what I'm saying? We got it, we got it all around here. We got the swimming pool, got the uh, basketball hoop, you know what I'm saying? We could play pool. Go go play, do tennis, you know what I'm saying? Do some uh, golf course all in one city, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to be uh, enjoying ourselves while we're here. We're going to be networking with different breeders. And uh, <clears throat> what we came for, we came to pick up a new investment. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody screaming pink, pink, pink. We finna get right to it, you know what I'm saying? We're going to grab us a little uh, black and tan, full, fluffy, carrying uh, full, Isabella and pink, you know what I'm saying? By the time that female come in heat, we got some good things lined up for her. We got a top-notch stud by the name of uh, Pink 30 that we will be running her to. So uh, by the time them puppies come, it's going to be full pink, full Isabella, and full fluffy everything. You know what I'm saying? Nothing half, you know, 50% or uh, carriers, you know what I'm saying? We're not half doing shit. You know what I'm saying? We're not half doing nothing, you know? And we're going to keep going and keep going. By the time when them puppies drop, we're going to uh, promote ourselves into some business. Top dollar chemistry. Hey man, y'all know what's going on, man. June 17th, 2023. We still in motion. We still picking up. We still dropping off. We even coming better bosses. My boy Flint done turned all the way up, and it ain't no turning down for him no more. He on his promo heavy, you know what I'm saying? He picking them up. He dropping them off. Um, he promoting he promoting his promotion game is to the max now, you know what I'm saying? It's been a while since he got his franchise. If you ain't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to his YouTube channel because he's not taking no shortcuts or no breaks, you know what I'm saying? He's receiving deposits and dropping it, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's buying more dogs. He's breeding more dogs, you know what I'm saying? This top dollar Kennels Flint, he's the uh, number one motivated uh, breeder right now, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it can't nobody take away from his energy. Every morning he wake up on his promo, he know what it takes, he know what he gotta do, he getting the, he getting the, he getting the feedback off of it, you know? So he done kinda got in the rhythm of it. It's, it's people that's constantly on his page, constantly dimming him, he constantly getting customers. This is a life-changing experience right now that my boy going through, you know what I'm saying? My boy been going through it ever since he got his franchise, man. Uh, we're going to touch on some stuff today, and we're going to show y'all some stuff today. It's going to be a real um, exciting, extreme um, vlog right here, man. If you ain't tuned in, then you, you ain't even in the dog breeding, because this right here is special. You know what I'm saying? We in Miami in the middle of the palm tree. The ceiling fan is spinning. You know what I'm saying? Cool breeze on me. You know what I'm saying? The ceiling fan spinning cool breeze on me. I'm looking at the, the trees just, just feather in the wind, and we're going to win. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's already... It's already transpiring, you know. When he got his franchise, he knew what it come with, but did you think it was gonna come this quick? I ain't gonna lie, I didn't, I didn't think it was gonna <clears throat> happen this uh, fast. You know what I'm saying? Joining the franchise. Uh, what you mean by happen this fast? What happened? Like, like, like 
before joining the franchise, I had a lot of questions, you know what I'm saying, asking uh, did, I, did I think this was a, a thing, that I think it was a, a positive thing for me to uh, do, to be able to, you know, turn up and uh, change my life how I needed to. And uh, I'm not going to lie, like, ever since I started, it's been life-changing, you know what I'm saying, it's been life-changing, it's been doing what it needs to do, you know, I've been staying motivated. Uh, I know it's been a year since I signed. <clears throat> But I'm still enjoying myself, you know what I'm saying? You might get to doing some things uh, repeatedly, you know, over and over. You might get tired, you might get bored, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this is not the case, you know what I'm saying? I'm still enjoying myself. I'm still having more income. I'm still uh, setting goals and, 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 and achieving them little by little. Like he say, we out here in Miami, you know, we about to get a new uh, pickup. You know what I'm saying? We finna get ahead. Because when we get ahead, you know how we play it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody screaming pink, 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 you know, so uh, we – Fully invested, you know, to, to get a uh, pink pink carrier and a uh, Isabella carrier on this uh, black and tan full fluffy female. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Look, this is what y'all don't know though. It's been, like I said, a year. It's been a year. This is what y'all don't know, man. It's been a year, and um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm seeing a I'm seeing a change in them, and it ain't just like I ain't gonna sit here and say this is for everybody. Everybody that get it. It's going to super boom and super go up and super, uh, you know, be a super breeder. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. There's people that get in this business that ain't able to maintain their own personal life so they can't do business. You know what I'm saying? There's people that get this franchise and just want to kick back and expect for me to do everything. This is an individual that, like, he have, he have his own push. You know, his own, he have his own thrive to do this, you know, before he franchised. So basically, I just I just lit the match, you know what I'm saying? He was already, he was already destined to walk a fly, you know what I'm saying? He just needed a push, he just needed some more connections, he just needed some more, um, he just needed some more people that has dogs for him to receive. He needed better prices on dogs. He, I'm sure, well this man knows so many people that he did not know before, you know, before he got his franchise. This man been selling dollars to NBA players. This man been selling dollars to people all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think it was like that when he got his franchise. I think he had <clears throat> he had probably what two litters. Yeah, I had two litters. Uh, I, as I stated in the, the first video that we shot in uh, Discovery Bay, I had like two litters prior to signing the franchise. Um, got those puppies off. You know, reinvested the money for those puppies to be able to to afford the 20,000 uh, franchise, you know what I'm saying? So um, I think it got a lot to do with uh, my competitive my competitiveness, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, <clears throat> you got to be able to work, you know what I'm saying? Even when you don't think like the people that's watching you, you know, you just never know. You got to be determined. You know, yeah, you got to be determined. You got to be able to work when, when people is not watching you, you just never know. You, you got to be able... You gotta, you gotta know that you gotta work when people are not even watch. You gotta know that you gotta be determined to keep buying dogs, keep breeding dogs, keep, you know, staying at it. This is not something that, you know, you do and it, and it just grows overnight. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be times that you buy dogs and you breed them and they don't take. You gotta be patient. My my kennel partner, Top Dollar Kennel Cincinnati, he jumped in the game. First, before he joined Top Dollar Kennels, he bought a chocolate trial LeBron James' daughter as a pup. Um, he also came to Miami and bought a chocolate trial uh, female, Hobbit line female. He bred both of those females. They first time they did not take. You know, he paid stud fee uh, on the Frenchie, and he paid, he bought the female pregnant. So both, both times the females didn't take, you know, but he didn't give up. He also had another Merle female that um, he had in a cut, he took her to Crown. He would have never knew nothing about no Crown if he wasn't for this franchise. So now he got Crown puppies on the ground. Um, I told him to bring his chocolate trial female. We're going to breed her to a male that I have, which is Austin Powers. Any one of my franchise members, they get 50% off on one of my studs. Mm -hmm. So he got to breed to his chocolate trial carrying Fluffy to a uh, blue trial feet a male carrying Isabella Cream and chocolate for only $1,500. Now he got a female that's finna drop puppies next week while he already got his crown puppies. But it took him a year or a year and a half to get to this. Now he got three litters finna come. The chocolate tribe bully, she's in heat, which he bred already she didn't take. Uh, he was getting tested down in Cincinnati, but I was telling him, hey, hey, Cincinnati, bro, you done bred 
both of your dogs in Cincinnati and you got PG tested down there. Just bring them to me, bro. I'm going to take care of everything and I'm going to just let you know how much it was as far as the testing. And I'm going to load up with semen. Maybe the females can't be moving a lot. Maybe the dude who's doing your PG testing, right. he's not doing it right. Maybe, uh, you know, the semen ain't right when you're doing it. Just bring me the dog, bro. I'm going to take care of Boom. He brought me the dog. The dog stayed for two, three weeks. That way she can get settled. That semen can settle in. You know, she's not moving a lot or whatever was going on at his house. Right. When that female pregnant, and it looked like she got a whole bunch of puppies. So Frenchies, they don't really get big at all. And if they do get big, it's going to be like toward the end. Right. Most Frenchies don't be big at 30 days. Uh, at 30 days, his female was, was already showing. 40 days, she was already big. So now at day 60, he probably finna drop six, about seven, eight puppies. Yeah. But this is what I was finna say. Before we came here yesterday, when I met you to get that, to get the, the money for the Airbnb, what happened at that pump? <clears throat> All right, so we uh, we this, just- This out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? This 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 just a, this just to motivate you and let you know that this does work. Hey, right, put right. your motherfucking shirt down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, but uh, now nah, we sit at the uh, you know gas pump. We getting ready for the uh, the trip. You know what I'm saying we getting focused. You know making sure we got everything lined up before uh, coming out here for the trip. Uh, guy ended up uh, walking past the pump. You know what I'm saying, kind of you know seen us. And uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, seen us from 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 a ways away. Came and seen us. You know told us that he uh, loved what we doing. He watching us. You know shout out to Top Dollar Kennel Splint. And 30 rich, you know, and uh, whenever he ready to get a female, he gonna make sure he lock in with us, you know. Flint guy ain't gonna explain it how I'm explaining it. He ain't gonna tell you how I'm gonna tell it, bro. Whatever. We sitting at the pump. Uh, Spanish guy walked past to the window. He knock on the window. When he walking up to the car, Flint like, bro, who, who is this? Call me. You know you what I'm saying? You just never know, so, you know what I'm saying? So he like, man, man, who is this walking up? So he, he knock on the door. I let the window down. He said, first, I think he said something to, who, who name he said first? He said Flint. He said, I see, I see him walk over here. That, he said Flint name before he even said my name. Yeah. Flint ain't from Fort Worth. Uh, nigga, I, I didn't even expect that guy to know him. You know what I'm saying? Right, when, right. when he said his name first, it let me know that it's working. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, people, people noticing him, people recognizing him from, from, from way over there. We sit in the car. A guy walk up to the door and say, hey bro, man, that's for Top Dollar Kino Flint, that's 30 Rich. Man, I seen y'all from over there, man, I be watching y'all, man. Uh, you know, they tuned into the program. Yeah, So they he, can't he, miss us, they he, can't he miss us. meeting them. new people, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and meeting people and seeing people that could, you know, that could transfer into a, a puppy being sold, you know what I'm saying? Thanks, or thanks. some business being transferred. Uh, that could transfer to the, the Hispanic guy getting the franchise. So everything is in motion. My, my boy working, you know what I'm saying? We out here in MIA, finna go MIA, finna pick up another dog, you know what I'm saying? Um, Flint, I'm gonna let y'all know this right here. This, this, this is not only about dogs, you know what I'm saying? This is a, is a life changing thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when he got his franchise, he sold a couple puppies to get his franchise. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I helped him sell some dogs to purchase his franchise. He, I introduced him to a lady that give us dogs. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's not about what you do, it's how you do it. He had two litters and haven't had no litter since then, but he got some amazing females. But he has sold more dogs buying dogs and reselling them as far as having good clientele, he has sold more dogs than he has produced. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's not it's not about, hey, um, I produced this dog and I made some money off of it. You know, we still got bills, we still got family, we still young, you know, entrepreneurs that's trying to live out here and maintain. So I'm saying this to say, he got introduced to somebody after he got his franchise and she been giving him dogs for nothing up front. You know, he probably done sold 20, what, about 20, 30 dollars, probably more than, I don't know how many dollars he sold. He don't know how many dollars he yeah, sold. It's, it's but I'm saying, it's too many to count. It, take, it, it, don't, it didn't take for us to breed a dog, wait 60 days to have some puppies, um, wait another 60 days for them to be old enough to sell. Mm -hmm. um, 
You know, we reached out to the lady or the lady reached out to us. She'd give us dogs or send us dogs or show us dogs. And our clientele is so high now that we could just post them and make money that's all profit. You know what I'm saying? Instead of worrying about a dog getting pneumonia, worrying about a dog getting sick, worrying about the vet business, um, if the mama gone, uh, you know, nurture the puppies right, if if, if everything going to go good with the, with the litter. Um, I feel like it's less hassle than a wrestle when we're wholesaling. You know what I'm saying? This guy done made what off that leg? At least about, at least about a, a good 40, 50. At least 40, 50, and, and it's still like this man said, this still man early. get dogs every week, you know? And it's like, it's our profit to where he invested 20. That 20 done came back three times, you know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like he get way more than what he posed to as far as like, it's not just about helping you with dogs. This man done gained all type of connections since he got his franchise. So it's definitely worth it, you know. Uh, it's all on you. You can't get any kickback. You gotta be destined to keep moving forward. You gotta be on your promo. You gotta be going to your dog shows. You gotta have good uh, self, I mean, we got. you gotta have good customer service skills. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know how to talk to these people. See what they want, see what they like, see how they like it, man. Um, I, I know a while ago you was, you was telling me you wanted me to uh, touch on doing good business. What, what, yeah. what, what did you mean by that? Uh, I'm just saying, like, basically uh, doing good business, like, as far as, you know, the person that's selling the dog, making sure they, making sure the ball is in their court. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as. So making sure the, co cause the customer is com comfortable. Yeah, making sure, the, making sure the customer is comfortable first. But at the end of the day, make sure the ball is in your court as a seller, you know, to the customer, if okay. that makes sense. What you mean by the ball in your court? Like you controlling the sale or are you saying? Yes, control, you, you, you controlling the sale. You controlling the sale, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a difference between you controlling the sale and you trying to get over, you know what I'm saying? We're not trying to get over, but uh, as far as controlling the sale, you know, you can get a deposit lock in, you know what I'm saying, which lets you know that the buyer uh, is serious before they, you know, hit your line or, or come and try to invest with you. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure they're not wasting your time and, and you're not wasting their time. So, uh, you know, to show that uh, they're serious, you know, every every dog should come with, you know, some sort of lock-in, whether it's 500, 1,000. Teaching them or showing them or telling them how to properly do the, the transactions. Yeah, basically like this. So, boom, if you have a buyer, you know what I'm saying, come in your DMs, they want to know uh, uh, how much a dog is or whatever the case may be. Um, or not, not even just that, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to promote yourself or promote your, promote your dog to somebody, like, you're never supposed to be the first person to uh, tell them a price, you know what I'm saying? That's how you uh, run away your customer, you feel what I'm saying? So basically, you 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 ask them what, what's their price range. Yeah, uh, if they come come in my DMs, you know what I'm saying, they might be like, I'm looking for a female Frenchie, and then I just ask them what's their budget. Really, really, really where they located first, you know what I'm saying? You always want to be able to get familiar with your clientele before it just kind of... You do know, you promote your brand? Do you think the the Frenchie market is is booming more than the bully market? Yes, most definitely. I think ever since, ever since the Frenchies has been rated like number one in the world. You know what I'm saying? As far as the breed, I feel like the Frenchies has been at a high rate right now. And since we got the motion, it ain't it ain't nothing for us to you know get the clientele. Speaking of Frenchies, you still got Brandy James, right? Correct. Brandy everything. And what about everything else you started with before you got the franchise? The only the only dog I got right now before I started the franchise was uh was Bronny was Bronny James. Bronny so, James was probably like probably like five six months at the time. He wasn't even ready to breed. So you got um uh, everything all your bullies, you sold them. Yes, I only got I only got a few females. Sold sold the other bullies. I had a uh, Bricks, which was a lid bag son. I thought I would never sell him, but I uh I promoted my way into a bag. I sold him for uh ten. You know, he's now resided in uh, Chicago, you know, uh, Sweet Jones. Like he said, whenever I had my signed the, the franchise, I didn't really just have puppies after puppies, you know, litter after litter. Um, a couple a couple of them litters, you know what I'm saying, went south, but I stayed focused, you know what I'm saying, I didn't give up. Um, so Sweet Jones for 15, I put me right back, you know what I'm saying, in the door, kind of gave me some hope again. I spent 20 on the franchise. I know for a fact I made five thousand dollars you know what i'm saying a footwork in the dog breeding business before selling uh sweet john so i knew you know i made my money back right there and ever since then i just been taking going crazy i'm talking about it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't no limit to what i can do i surprise myself sometimes
to all the dogs he had. You know, he had people in his DM trying to buy dogs. He got good money for the dogs that he had, and he just felt like he wanted to start over and get better females. He got he got some crazy females. His dogs, some of his his female his females are better than most of the females I got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this man not only you know got these dogs, but he take good care of these dogs. Flint, he really the only only person I know that can keep his dogs in the house, and when you come in there, it still smell like a house. Mm -hmm. You know, it don't never be dirty. You know, none of the dogs are never mistreated. Uh, you know, he love them dogs like they part of his family. You know what I'm saying? Even if something don't go right with the breed. Facts. He's still like, man, I'm not ever. I'm not getting rid of the dogs. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> so yeah, he, yeah. He, more, he, like, he more into it for the dogs also, man. But uh, he, he said something about me doing a a transaction in the middle of Walmart, you know what I'm saying? He said his brother made a comment on it, and the comment is still getting likes and views to this day. Uh, what, what you said the comment said? It was talking about basically how he sold the dog in the tech, the technology aisle in Walmart, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the comment probably got 119 likes on it, you know it what I'm saying? Even, it wasn't even the technology aisle, but yeah. the, the comment, I guess it was funny, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, people were serious about it, so they was liking it. But... Uh, you know, people don't know that you need to meet these people in public places. Man. So I met the I met the guy in Walmart, you know, at the register in the front, you know what I'm saying, self-checkout. Uh, but I simply met him there because you gotta you, you don't know who you meet. That guy was from Chicago also. Uh, but I had met a couple of people during that day. I, I meet everybody at a public place. When you're trying to get in a dog breeding or you're doing dog breeding, you know, you you wanna meet in public places in case anybody try anything, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of scamming going on, a lot of robbing going on, everybody going crazy because of Frenchies, 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 Frenchies. Oh my God, he got a Frenchie. Oh my God, I want one, I can't afford one. So you got to meet these people in public places, whether it's at a gas station, whether it's at a store, whether it's at um, Planet Fitness, it don't matter. You know, just make sure some people around, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's at the airport, make sure people is around because you don't want nothing to go wrong, you know? Make sure you bring everything for the dog that the dog need, you know? Um, and make sure you, you see that money first before you hand that person that dog. You know what I'm saying? Let them let them check out the dog, but don't don't let nobody run off with your dog, man. We man. finna check out, man. We finna get we finna get suited and booted. So make sure y'all tune in, man. East of the West. Sir. That bitch is perfect. Ten, you was getting discouraged like, hey bro, ain't, ain't much going on right now. No, not that I was getting discouraged. I just didn't understand. You feel what I'm saying? Like I didn't understand like So I told you how to make some money off doing some other uh, doing something other than Trying to, trying to just breathe, breathe, breathe. Facts, 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 facts. You know facts. what I'm saying? So, um, I think I kind of remember when you, when you was like, when you reached out to me about that. Or how did you start talking about that? Or did I just I say, think hey, it was, oh, this is a way for you to make some money? No, no, no. I, I was going through it when I had a, uh, was, was going through the litter, you know what I'm saying? Lost the litter, whatever the case may be. And then you was like, uh, this is how you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? You, you got other ways to make money. You can go out and get these dogs. So you had lost, you had bred, you had bred dogs, and the dogs passed away soon over uh, New Orleans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That last bred, uh, right. he was feeling bad because he had lost them puppies. You know, he needed them puppies. Them was some crazy, uh, expensive pain puppies. So what I told him was, hey, bro, don't worry about that. You know, you got, you got, you got people that's watching you. There's tons of people out here that's trying to get dogs. So I'm gonna send you some people, or I'm gonna get you some people, or I'm, you know, we're gonna get dogs. We're gonna ask make extra change on top of the dogs. So that way, you know, you can still make money until you breed again. He didn't know that it was gonna go like this, though. You know what I'm saying? He didn't expect it to go like this. He didn't understand what I was saying. I told him, hey, do this, put it like this, post it like this, tell him this, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, hopefully you make, you know, you, you make, make some, you know, some good buyers uh, come your way. So make some good transactions. So he did that, you know, and now he understand how to promote it, you know what I'm saying, how to market it to where it can keep going. Now he understands to where he all, all the way live. You can make six figures. You can make, you know, 50, 50 grand like Flint, sitting at home, you know, using your platform. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be at, you're on the IG at the this right the time. Times, man. I'm telling you, man. You gotta be up late night, early morning. You know what I'm saying? Give it to him. Give it to him. Don't stop. I'm talking about when you sell one dog, you gotta go back and go get another one and keep going, keep going. But it ain't about, it ain't about like you just doing it. Everybody can't do it. 
you got to know and understand what's going on. You got to build the content. You got to build people's trust. When we do dogs as far as transactions with people, we also post those transactions. Well, that way people feel more comfortable, you know, doing it, you know, because a lot of people have are been getting, are getting scammed. They have been getting scammed. A lot of people come to us to keep to stay away from getting scammed. You know what I'm saying? So stay away from getting low quality. You know, we, we make sure everything we get or everything we do, you know, it's just some type of quality, high quality. No low, low quality, but if you can't afford it, you know, we, we can work with what you can't afford. You know, you don't have to go out there and risk your life. You know, it's a new time and day. It's a new, it's a new stuff going on with this internet. You know, you got to Learn a format of something you can make money off the internet, whether it's a thousand dollars, whether it's two thousand dollars, all of that still adds up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there come times where I don't want to, you know, I might miss a heat, or I don't want to breed a dog, or, or this dog too risky, or man, I got too much stuff going on. I'd rather just buy something and resell it. You know, that's also a market. That's a skill. That's something that everybody can't do. And I know as breeders, they respect what you produce, not what you bought. Some people say that, some people don't. You know, the real breeders that have been in the game, they're only going to respect you off of what you produce. So while we're doing this, we still have more dogs in motion. I got some dogs that I haven't showed nobody. We got the Top Dollar Festival coming up. I don't even know if I want to bring them out then. Uh, got a lot of people tuned in, a lot of people coming out. I'm going to do 50% off on all boots. The boots is $1,500 to $2,500. I'm going to do 50% off and work with all budgets. Uh, you need to get out here to this event. Everybody will be there. Everybody will be tuning in. There will be plenty of exposure. It's exposure it's for everybody in the dog game. Everybody looking for dogs. Everybody pay attention to us. If you notice, everybody want to throw their dog show like we we want, we throw our dog show. You know, when that's fine. But just remember, the best of the best East of the West did that first. We're going to get what we deserve. We're popping out October 29th, we're bringing out everybody that's in the dog breed that's been in the United States and possibly overseas. This is the first Top Dollar West Month Festival. The East Coast, the West Coast, up north, down south. We're bringing them out, and you better be there. You know what I'm saying? So if you got litters, you got dogs, you got upcoming breeding, you want to meet some new people, meet some new connections, meet some people that can give you some dogs for the low, you get them and they go. You got to come to that festival, man. I'm preparing, I'm cooking it up. Everything going to be fine, Dan. We got concert, D Baby, Big Boogie, No Cap. Uh, possibly ride for nine, possibly some more artists. Uh, I'm still working on a lot, still got to pay for a lot, but I know it's going to happen. Uh, I pretty much locked up, knocked out a, a huge chunk of everything. We got about four months to get everything else lined up. I'm currently going through some stuff right now that you guys do not know about. I'm probably going to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? You can have it out one day and lose it out the next day, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it don't stop. We still got to keep going. We still going to keep going, you know what I'm saying? We didn't just choose this, but this also chose us. So as long as you striving for it and staying dedicated and motivated, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back. You know what I'm saying? It got to come back because everybody knows you for that. You know, the whole thing. Hey, big CEO vibes, man, going on. Big Top Dollar West Month Festival going on. Big October 29th. Big, big, big. I see a lot of y'all cobbling the event. We got Big Boogie, D-Baby, No Cap, all on stage performing a lot of full set concerts. We got activities and games and giveaways for the kids in the community. We got the best dogs coming out. We got the best um, females and males around the United States that's all in business coming to the Top Dollar West Month Festival. October 29th, Dallas, Texas, I'm going to do 50% off um, all booths. I want all the food trucks there. If you got good food, you want it to be promoted, you want it to be known, you want it to be out there, you want to make some good, good money, you need to be at the Top Dollar West Month Festival, October 29th, Dallas, Texas. Um, a lot of food vendors, a lot of clothing vendors, a lot of hair vendors, all type of different people and businesses and brands will be out there. Not only that, the first ever TSF car show. Now, when you say TSF car show, you got to mention that this has never been done before and it, and it won't be done like this before. Uh, South Walker has a, 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 a lot of cars stacked up. A lot of his, a lot of people that signed to him got a lot of cars that stacked up. A lot of people that know him got a lot of cars that stacked up. This is their first ever car show, you know what I'm saying? So we're finna do it big. Make sure you be there, make sure you see this, make sure you're in tune with what's going on. Follow Top Dollar Festival on Instagram, right?
When you follow Top Dollar Festival on Instagram, you DM me if you got any questions or concern. Um, if you've been breeding and stand down, you finna get what you earned. I'm finna bring out all different type of communities, all different type of crowds, all different type of people. This is an all breed festival. Do not forget, this is an all breed festival. So if you breed Yorkies, if you breed poodles, if you breed pomeranians, if you breed alligators, you breed snakes, you can bring any type of breed of animal to the festival. Just make sure it is not an aggressive breed because we will have kids out there, a lot of bounce houses, a lot of toys, a lot of giveaways. Not only that, free haircuts. This event is right off the freeway, I'm pretty sure. We're going to have the whole street blocked off, I'm pretty sure. It's going to be a lot of traffic, so make sure you get there early, if not the day before, uh, simply because I'm going to bring out my city. I'm going to bring out my state, man. We, we're bringing out people from all surrounding areas. Big Book is from Memphis, so that's why I reached out that way. Um, you got No Cap from Alabama, that's why I reached out that way. You got um, D-Baby from Houston, that's why I went up that way. Then you got Rod 49 from... Louisiana. I don't, I'm not sure Rod Fonan is still coming, but he possibly still c could come. Um, you, so you surrounded all nearby states. So guess what? It's going to be great. Everywhere I go, they know me. No matter what state I go to, hey, that's the guy with the dogs. Hey, that's Dirty Rich. I have built my platform. I have built my brand. West Mine Exotics has also established a brand around the world based out of California. You know what I'm saying? This is a collab show. You know what I'm saying? West Mine, he's going to bring out the West Coast. Everybody know um, well, it's, it's an argument that West Coast have the best dogs. Some people say they don't. Some people say they do. I say they do. If you're from the West Coast, I want to come show Dallas. I want to come show the world that the West Coast do have the best dogs. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to talk about it. I want to see the West Coast stacked up with other dogs. Everybody talking about they got heat. They got heat. They got this. They want to go live. They want to talk noise. They want to, you know, bring the dogs out up front. We're going to have a good time in October. It's cool temperature in Dallas, Texas. Um, and this was a, this would be an outside event. You got booths from 1500 to 2500. I'm gonna do 50 percent off. So you can get booths uh, for what 750. You can get booths for 2500, 1250. You can get booths for 2000. Uh, I mean a thousand. So what's that 500? I'm gonna I'm include I'm gonna include some 500 dollar booths. Get your booths for the Top Dollar West Mount Festival now. You do not want to miss this event. Bring your kids. It's free haircuts. We might have live animals for them to ride and play with. Toys, giveaways, games. I'm going to make this huge. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't already spent over 200 grand on it. I'm going to probably spend up, you know, spend another 200 grand. I'm working on trophies right now. Um, I did not want to make it packed on doing a lot of walking around the ring. And, like, that takes up a lot of time. You know, you come out here and you network. You come out there and network. A lot of people ask me, hey, Rich, how do I get my kennel name out there? I'm going to tell you right now, come to the festival. That's how you're going to get your kennel name out there. That's how you're going to get more exposure for your dogs. That's how you're going to complete potential sales. It will be fans from music. It will be fans from cars. It will, be, it will be fans from everywhere coming out. Food trucks. Man, look, I'm telling you. You don't want to miss this event. I've been seeing a lot of y'all copy the layout. Everybody want to do a concert now. Everybody want to add food trucks now. Everybody want to do uh, Owl Breeze. Or everybody want to do, yeah, they just copying it. Man, you know who's doing it. The East of the West, the best of the best, 30 Rich, Top Dollar West Month Festival. I'm number one out here. So guess what? Everybody that's tuned in and watching this see me, they coming right to the Linguini, 30 Rich. Like I say, been putting in work for the last uh, four to five months. You know, uh, selling these dogs with no problem. You know, getting them off, picking them up, getting them, getting them, getting them dropped off to where they need to be. You know, uh, like I say, we're going to stay focused. You feel me? We're going to stay focused. Uh, to be able to keep it going, you got to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Keep supplying the quality that the people need to take their camp to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you can't find it through me, you can get it through my kennel partner, Rich. You know what I'm saying? And we just gonna keep setting the bargain higher and higher. You know what I'm saying? We uh we out here in Miami, Florida, you know, we enjoying ourselves, but we also handling business at the same time. It's a time and a place for everything. It's a time and a place to handle business. It's a time and a place for fun. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we just getting started. It's still early. You know, when you work hard, you play hard. You know what I'm saying? It's still early. I'm a year in. I'm still enjoying myself. I still got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of goals to accomplish. I already accomplished a lot of them along the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to stay focused and motivated to be able to take care of my family, you know what I'm saying, and uh, leave something for my people behind me, you know. It didn't come overnight, you know what I'm saying? This success did not fall out the sky. 
I had to learn it from being around the people, being around the right people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just having better uh, mentorship in my corner. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't uh, get to where I needed to go, you know, hanging with my old friends. So I had to, you know, get rid of them and go find me some new ones, you know, find me some better ones that stand on business. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's, a, it's a different feeling. You know what I'm saying? You know business from bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, over the past two to three years, I learned what's business and I learned what's bullshit, you know? And uh, we don't keep uh, weeding out the bullshit and keep striving as we go, man. Top Dollar Kimmel Splint, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio. You know what I'm saying? Follow TDK Transport. We are still transporting everybody, dogs, from here to there, safe and sound. You know what I'm saying? We the best around town. Make sure you tune in. Top Dollar Kimmel Splint for the win. I gotta get a haircut, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Murder work Texas all the way to that H-Time. 2007. Man, we got two tired to lock up on camera, man. He in Beaumont, Texas, purporting live, nigga. H-Time, man. Free Carter Park, free two tired, nigga. Houston and 4 Texas. He home very soon. Back on your neck, man. Top dollar Kendall Swing is Jeff Jones, man. Top dollar Kendall Swing is June 17th, Miami, Florida. We out here putting back into our camp. Like I say, we've been grinding hard for the last four to five months. We've been selling dogs with no problem, you know what I'm saying? Getting them dogs off and getting them dropped off to where they need to be. Now we uh, reinvesting back into our camp just so that we can uh, be able to get ahead. Like I say, when we get ahead, you know how we play it. We on the way to go pick up a uh, black and tan, fluffy female carrying Isabella, carrying pink, you know what I'm saying? Uh, whenever the, the, the female come in heat, we got some sauce that we gonna link her up to. Uh, we plan on taking her to Pink 30. You know what I'm saying? Pink 30 is owned by my kennel partner. Probably uh, the next uh, best thing that's upcoming. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you tap in. He got an unbelievable stud fee. And uh, like I say, when this litter drop, I'm going to promote myself into some business. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have uh, puppies for uh, X, X amount of dollars. You know what I'm saying? If it's on the table and you're able, like I say, tap in with Flint. Top dollar kennel Flint. We going for the win. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. TDK Transport, follow them right now. everything like dirt we in between everything you know what i'm saying like funk east to the west we coming out popping out october 29th dollar texas top dollar west month festival you know what i'm saying bringing out the world craig i'm talking about the top flight security of the world craig we'll be in the building and protecting this event Thirty thousand just on security guards you got to go harder you know what i'm saying i see y'all trying to copy the swag i see you want to add a concert i see you want to add festival on the end of your show you know what i'm saying i see you want to have a car show with it you know what i'm saying but guess what i'm the one that did it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna do it the correct way the light way the right way i'm talking about heavy on security don't worry about nothing I might have a boxing ring on the SMO Entertainment, man. This is a crazy, crazy event. We in the middle of Miami right now doing full court press promotion. No joke, you see my boy for Versace to the flow. F-O-E. Versace, you stepping on, fuck, nigga. East to the West, 30 Rich Flint. He back to back dropping content. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm with them animals, man. Everybody part of Top Dollar Killers, Gorillas, and Ape. No play play. Them boys dropping production. You know what I'm saying? They copy more dogs. We own everything like the laws. Yeah. I'm telling you, get back. East to the West, Benny. Yeah, man, we right back at it again. Just got to a new location. You know what I'm saying? We just got to a new location. We finna get on this yacht. We gonna be the first to ever do it. You know what I'm saying? The first to ever do it, to be able to uh, buy a new investment on the yacht. I ain't nobody doing it like Top Dollar Kennels. You know what I'm saying? Top Dollar Kennels, we here, you know, putting it together, just straight out the dogs, reinvesting in our camp, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to be able to sleep better at night, you know what I'm saying? We going, we getting it in, you know what I'm saying? We going for 20s, we're going for 10s, you know what I'm saying? Top Dollar Kennels Flint, we getting it in, man. Tap in. So we right here in the middle of Miami, Florida, on the big yacht. This ain't no play play. This is real business, you know what I'm saying? We coming out here to network. You know, we got a new pickup coming on the way. 
You know what I'm saying? When that bag come out, you know we ready. You know what I'm saying? You gotta always, you gotta stay ready so you won't have to get ready. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay ready so you won't have to get ready. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay ready so you won't have to get ready. You know? You know? Big yacht. Just got on top of the yacht, finna go on the other side of the ocean. You know, we east to the west, we the best of the best. No promotion, you know what I'm saying? You see us, you know what it is. That's how, that's how solid our, our foundation has been built, you know what I'm saying? We build a brand. Top Dollar Kennel, we are the brand, we don't do no plan. October 29th, Dallas, Texas, Top Dollar West Month Festival. Third Rich, I'm a mirror to the flow. You know how this shit go. The best of the best. Diamonds, I'm like 200, Jerry. I'm telling you. It's gonna even be bigger 2024. We finna have this huge festival. Everybody finna have a good time. We finna have a good networking experience. You know what I'm saying? We finna get a lot of more breeders out there, a lot of more dogs out there. We finna get more people into the other breeds, not just bullies, not just Frenchies. I think I'm gonna do a French side, and I think I'm gonna do a bully side. All the best of the best will be in the building, man. You need to be out there in attendance. October 29th, we got $75 pre sale. And guess what? Not only that, we got $500 boots. What? You got $500 boots at the Top Dollar West Month Festival? Yes, I do. I'm telling the truth. Tap in with me now, and guess what? I'm only require 50% deposit. Yes, $250 locks in your booth, and $500 is the total for a booth. You want to? I want an even better booth? I do a thousand. Lock in with 500. That's gonna get you a little closer to the stage, a little closer to my action, a little more close to the transaction. Third risk to business satisfaction. Third risk again. <laughs> time y'all seen us together we was in discovery bay now we going mia we on a bigger boat bigger yacht bigger versace bigger pockets drop down east of the west be the top dollar kennels franchise with the guys you know what i'm saying you supposed to be right here right here on the side of us we steady growing up i said we steady growing up my boy got the female in the boat that you don't got how you gonna talk about us when we got shit that you don't even got how you gonna talk about us and we head to the straight to the top huh check out my watch how you gonna talk about us and you ain't got no watch? How you gonna talk about us, my boy pull up diamonds all on his ears and shit? We don't got no fur, diamonds all on his wrists and hands. You better understand. 50 grand off the middleman. Fool. Off the middleman. Oh! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nigga for like. <laughs> that nigga said 50 grand off the middleman. Yeah. I say fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shit on the same home. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm surprised, bro. I'm in, I'm in shock. My Michael boy said he in shock, man. It's, I'm it's, in shock. It's a blessing to be here on June That's 17th. Crazy, that might go in my going MIA uh, on the front of the yacht thing. Look at them joints. Yeah. Man. He's sipping on it. Damn. You see, fresh haircut. This is what it look like when you franchise with 30 Rich, man. I'm taking care of all my members. Coming back cold like the same boy got ice on him. Yeah. The boy got ice on him. <laughs> he ain't even put the price on him. You can check the price on him. Huh? Check the price on him. Feed Sachi. Top, bottom shoes, no socks. And on the yacht. Yeah, you a damn yeah, clown, yeah. man. Get around. You know what I'm saying? We own the boat. MIA going MIA. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. The guy's working phenomenally. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he is originally from Flint, Michigan. Uh, he kind of grew up in Orleans. He moved to Fort Worth. He didn't know many people in Fort Worth. Um, he seen me through the, mu the music. Like he told y'all on the first vlog. He tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Got his franchise. And it's, and it's only up from here, man. Like I said, the boy, the man's working phenomenally. You know what I'm saying? He's steady, he steady being dedicated. He's steady being motivated. He's steady promoting himself. Top dollar kennels underscore Flint. You never know where he gonna be next year, so get nerd. Tap in with that man, get his number. You know, uh, subscribe to his channel, get his email. Follow his backup page. Get all his social media pages. Cause guess what? It's gonna even be bigger next year. Get your franchise with the guys, and then, then he got his brother here, real artist right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about saying your ears, I make the panties drop on the floor. Yeah. You know how this go. East to the West thing only, man. What's your Instagram? Cartier, C-O-R-T-I-E-R, Cartier. Cartier, man. Cartier, going M-I-A. You are Look him up on YouTube. He gonna hit a note for y'all later on, make him bring it out. He, he, he don't like seeing it for free. But get what? Subscribe to the channel, man. You gonna get you some of that. Yeah.
Hey, we here, man. Top dollar kennels, Flint. Growing and flowing. Bro, you have on, the, on the water. <laughs> <laughs> Top Dollar Kendall Flint, man. I'm trying to see where you at, man. Yeah, bro. We've been on the uh, the yacht for like at least an hour and 30 minutes, man. I'm trying to see when you're going to pull up with that investment. Okay, you, you going to be here soon? By how long? What you think? Be honest, bro. 10 minutes? All right, bet. We're going to be waiting on you, bro. All right, for sure. Vice City Frenchies, man. We deliver on time, on a jet ski, on a PJ, anywhere, any place you got it. Top dollar kennels, guess it, baby. Top quality service for my G. Paid a big bag. He deserves to get delivered the dog in big fashion. Yes, sir. Vice City Frenchies, man. You come down to Miami, you get yourself a big fluffy. We take care of you. Hospitality. Got you on the boat. Wait till tonight. It's going to be a movie. We have 10 minutes. Come on. Yo, Flynn, what's up, baby? It's Vice City Frenchies, man. First full fluffy black and tan female, Karen Isabella in pink, delivered by yours truly on a jet ski to your yacht, baby. Let's Here we go, it. man. What you think? Let's get it, man. Top dollar Kendall's Flint, man. We yes, right back sir. at it again, man. We in the blend. This time right here, we investing back into the camp. This right here is a black and tan, full fluffy female carrying Isabella, carrying pink. Man, you know that shit stink, man. We've been getting it in all off the dogs, man, recently. You know, October 29th, Dallas, Texas, all dogs will be outside, man. This is the kid that did. You know, this has never been done before. We are purchasing, you know, a pink, full, fluffy female on a yacht. You know what I'm saying? We, it's time to get ahead because when we get ahead, you know how we play it. Top dollar Kendall Flint. We going to the moon, man. Stay tuned. And there's a health certificate, 7003, lines up with a microchip, 100% healthy. And then I already sent you the DNA. All right, this is a microchip reader. So every one of our dogs comes health cleared, vaccine, AKC registered, and microchip. So you take the dog, she's under the table. And that's that's the microchip reader for the dog. Yeah, any dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your dog. Yeah, if they steal it or whatever, you can register the dog stolen wherever they go. If they scan it stolen, it's, it's a problem. In my previous episodes, we talk about doing good business. You feel what I'm saying? Anytime I do my business, I always get a, a lock in for the dogs. You know what I'm saying? Just so I know that the buyer uh, is serious when they when they hit me up. Um, I try to tell my man, it's like, you know, I'm gonna really come and get the dog. I'm gonna really come and get the dog. He was like, all right, bro, I got you. Show me some type of uh, plane ticket that you're coming out here to come pick her up. You know what I'm saying? I did that. You feel me? But he still wasn't. Um, you, he still wasn't sold on me coming to get the dog without dropping the deposit you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna lie to you i was trying not to drop the deposit the best way i could but i ended up dropping it because that's how i do my business you feel what i'm saying i couldn't do nothing but respect it you feel what i'm saying so i sent the deposit you know and uh I, I i flew out and now i'm here you know bringing them the rest of the cash for that ass you know what i'm saying upon pickup that's how you do that my boy came through last year we did 75 puppy sales we're at almost 20 this is a 29th sale this year and i honest to god i gotta tell you this man's the truth great business great vibe i'm all about energy man this guy's the truth he came in said he's gonna get the yacht a lot of people do the a lot of the talking this guy dropped the bag but rented the yacht we're going out tonight it's a movie brought the brought his cameraman over here you brought his fucking kennel partner over here big time in the dfw area and brought that bag Vice City from Miami. If you in the Miami area, make sure you tap in with my mans. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people from, uh, you know, Miami or whatever like that don't know who Vice City is. So, 
uh, no, they do know who Vice City is. If you're from Miami, you should know who Vice City is. If you don't know who Vice City is and you out in Miami, you don't know dogs. I, I, ain't, I ain't going, I'm just riding. Yeah. This is his business today. You know what I'm saying? This, he put this together. All will turn to our still. You know what I'm saying? They, get, they step or they get stepped on. You doing business with the man, my boy, Jose. Yeah. Came through with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Came through with it. Pulled up with you, plus the camera, pink, and it's, it's a fella. How we doing, Frenchy family? This is Jose. I own Vice City Frenchies, uh, one of the biggest kennels down here in South Florida, man. We're tapped in. We're on a yacht in Miami. We're cruising, checking out the mansions, feeling the vibes. I'm here with uh, Top Dollar Kennels Flint. Uh, from start to business, man, business was real smooth. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk and hit us up in the DMs. We specialize in full fluffies, full fluffy big ropes and full fluffies carrying pink and Isabella. Uh, they picked up a full fluffy black and tan female carrying pink and Isabella today. Dropped 15K on her. Um, we're gonna do a lot of partnership, uh, partnerships in the future. Not gonna lie, man, a lot of people hit the DMs with those big ticket items, they window shop, they ask a lot of questions, but they don't, there's no action. My boy talked to me on Monday, booked the ticket on Tuesday, was here Saturday with the yacht contract, all right, and the bag, no issues, smooth, brought his whole, flew out his whole camp out here. Flew his cameraman out here, flew his uh, business partner out here, and we got a bunch of girls upstairs too. We'll come those in a little bit as well. Uh -huh. But again, man, I'm telling you, the business was impeccable. I felt comfortable. The vibes were great. Truly, truly a, a businessman for real. I felt great. Uh, not, not only the business aspect, but I know we're gonna have a good time on the yacht together. We're just counting. We just finished counting the cash here, and we're out. We're, we're about to, you know, experience a good time out here in Miami for the rest of the night. Top Dollar Kennels Flint, man. We right back at it again for the win, man. We linked up with my man's Vice City Frenchies, man. Yes, sir. This right here is a black and tan female fluffy carrying Isabella carrying pink, man. You know that shit stink, man. We still getting it in all off the dogs, man. October 29th, make sure you be there. We have the Top Dollar Westmont Festival coming up. Deep Baby will be there. Uh, Big Boogie will be there. Make sure you get there. You know what I'm saying? Beat me there. Don't meet me there. You know, all dogs will be outside. <laughs> Ain't never been done before, man. It's the east to the west, the best of the best. We're on the top of the yacht, headed straight to the top. Top dollar kennels Flint in here with my boy. Yes, sir. MIA going MIA. You see the Frenchie? Guess what? Full fluffy, no bluffy. Isabella Karen Pink. This ain't never been done, and it will never be done again. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is like a top dollar list. Third rich again. Appreciate you, bro. Man, I appreciate you uh, for coming through for us. You know what Absolutely, I'm saying? Absolutely, my brother. Um, tune into the program, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Third Rich Again. <laughs> stop the motion don't stop man we picking up and we dropping off we just made an investment top dollar kennel swing just made an investment on a black and tan full fluffy female carrying isabella carrying pink we right back at the airbnb my uh kennel partner top dollar kennels houston you know what i'm saying just made a play you know what i'm saying it's a good day to be great uh she she met her client all the way out in uh, miami florida you know what i'm saying to pick up you know his investment it's a blessing you know what i'm saying how you feel about your investment it feel good, man. Top Dollar Kennels Houston producing. Hey, I'm loving it. It feel good. My boy got him a good dog, man. It's up. He gonna. He said he want to do this. He this his first dog. He got it. Hey, and we are gonna take off from here. You already know she's the top. Too uh, 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 uh. One more, one more. Again, out the bank. Blue Merle female. She might carry that Isabella and that cream and that fluffy. And it's her production. You know what I'm saying? Houston producer. Fresh off the plane to the boat. Came through, through the rain. Houston doing her thing. No play play. Pool in the back. The basketball court with that. We got the Airbnb. My boy came through. Where you from? Right here, Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. You got to go harder. You got to tap in with the best of the best from the east to the west. You see what he did? And he went big. You see what she did? It's the kid. You know what I'm saying? East to the west, the best of the best. Top dollar kennels, Houston. He got a good quality female. I'm pretty sure that's first pick female, right? Second. That, that motherfucker hard. Yeah, that motherfucker hard. Can I touch that? Go ahead. I want to touch that merchandise because I like the cream points on it. You see the cream tan points? You see the blue eye and the green eye. Don't be surprised. This is best of the best quality. Directly off who? Draco. Draco. 
Shout out to that boy, French, French Baby, Baby, Baby Bulls. French Baby Bulls. This is this is the shop record. This is also the papers printed out. You know what I'm saying? Paid in full. Um, Merle female tan 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 points on that. Possibly carrying an Isabella and a Fluffy. The the mom was a, a lilac. Matter of fact, that's a lilac and tan, huh? Yeah, lilac. Man, it's even better than we expected. <laughs> best of the best. You better respect it. Big Rose was going. Uh, yeah, she possibly carried Isabella, but it's more, it's it's more recent DNA as far as the husky and the pink. That's that's even better than Isabella. Yeah. So it's cool for her to carry it, but for as far as breeding directly to her, she it'll be a pink dog or a, a husky dog that carries Isabella. What well, I tell you, you made a, the best purchase you can make anywhere. They you, would probably might. put you with a blue dog. Or something. Yeah. Tan female that we uh, co-own together, man. We just uh, doing the right thing. Like I say, this is a good business play. We all family at the end of the day, man. They pulled up with their dad. You know what I'm saying? I can't even be more proud of the motion. You know what I'm saying? The footwork. Like I say, my my, my, my brothers, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, they locked in probably like two, three months ago on the blue and tan female. You know what I'm saying? We locked in for life. They pulled up. We was out here. We just uh, copped a new dog. Uh, they pulled up and uh, pulled up with the production that uh, they co-owned with me, Top Dollar Kendall Splint. Uh, I want y'all to stay tuned to uh, Zuri Litter that's dropping real soon. You know what I'm saying? She's still young, but uh, she's still growing. You know, it's good business all the way. You know, we treat them like family. You know what I'm saying? We uh, we at the Airbnb. We're going to give them uh, access to all uh, the festivals. You feel what I'm saying? The swimming pool, um, the food, you know, whatever they need, you know what I'm saying, is good. So uh, we locked in and... Uh, we going crazy. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Follow Walker Boy Kennels. You know what I'm saying? They located out in uh, Miami, Florida. If you need that drip, that don't slip, make sure you tap in for the win. Top dollar kennels. Yeah. Come out. The kennel partners put up with that drip. Yeah. Yeah, it's a girl. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like the, the quality of the, uh, the female, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the hair, the way the hair is. You know, she's still young, but she's still, you know, she's still growing. And she got the time to really, you know, get that type of structure on her coat. You know what I'm saying? How old is she? She, uh, six months. She gonna be in heat. Uh, she gonna be in heat, uh, probably like in the next, uh, three months. You know what I'm saying? Hey, here he is, man. Back to back. Two time. No finesse, man. We got, uh, two full fluffies. You know, uh, one got a little bit more better grip than the other one. This right here is, uh, full fluffy. Carrying blue, carrying the cold. This right here is a Isabella carrying pink. You know what I'm saying? We still getting it in all off the dogs, man. I want to give a special shout out to uh, Walker Boy Kennels. You know what I'm saying? For staying yes, down. He's going to be around, man. He's going to be dropping them uh, full fluffies in just a minute, man. Make sure y'all stay tuned. This, this family over here, you feel me? Hey, hey, we hey, hey, we hey, 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 we, hey, we, we, we out here, we out here in Miami. Three. Hey, Three. Num number one Southern Assault 2031, number one team in the country. You know what I mean? Like Southern him. Assault Moms, you know what I mean? Hey, 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 be hey, best of the best from the East and West, you feel me? Best of the best from the East and West, you know what I mean? No nothing less, nothing less. Dollar Kennels, man, you never know what you're going to get, man, at Top Dollar Kennels Flint. You know, one day we could be a dog breeder, the next day we could be a, a basketball coach, you know what I'm saying? We could be with the Hoopers, you know. We can uh, promote a 707 sponsorship, a football team. We doing it all, man, for the right cause, man. If you got something positive, we tap it in, you know what I'm saying? Like my man said, this is the number one fourth grade group in the country, you know what I'm saying? Got one of the hottest big mans out right now, you know what I'm saying? Fourth grade, 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, you know who they be, man. Southern Assault, tap in. Yeah. Top Dollar Kennel Splint, we out here in Miami, Florida, checking out. Like I say, we came out here to invest in our camp and get ahead. When we get ahead, man, you got to know how we play it. We came out here, we was the first to uh, buy the dog on the yacht. Nobody has ever done that in the bully community. Uh, so I want to give a special shout out to uh, my kennel partner for making this all, you know, happen. Uh, you know, helping me find better dogs so that I can be able to uh, turn up my camp. You know, it was no better way to do it, you know, than do it with my kennel partners, you know, Rich and uh, CEO Bleezy. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned to what we got going on. If I'm not dropping litters, she going to be dropping litters. If she not dropping litters, then Rich going to be dropping litters. You know what I'm saying? Just like that, right back like crack at it.